A nationally recognized, award-winning writer, an emergency physician, and a friend of Fox 59 at St. Vincent Hospital in Indianapolis is leaving tomorrow to help those in Israel. Dr. Louis Perfetta joining me now live to share more about this upcoming journey into a war zone. Dr. Perfetta, so good to see you Thank again. You. Love Thank to have you. you here. I know you just finished, I think, <laughs> your last shift before you go out. Yeah. Um, literally, you got off at eight and you're here. Tell me a little bit about the, um, the, the moment you knew that you wanted to go to Israel and work as an emergency physician. Well, they, they sent out a call for volunteers, emergency physicians, trauma surgeons, vascular surgeons, that kind of stuff on a, a variety of different sort of social media sites that, that are Israel friendly. And I mean, I immediately signed up, but not just me. I mean, there were 3,000 doctors, I think, within the first couple of weeks. And I think they've had 6,000 physicians from all over America and the world sign up to, to go and volunteer in Israel. You have to um, be in a special place in your life, I would think, mentally, to say, you know what, I'm ready to. Your wife is over here to my left. You are a family man. People uh, know that about you. You have three grown sons. What is it about you in your life, um, as someone who's Jewish, that says, you know what, I will go now to help? Well, it's not just about being Jewish. It's just the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a noble cause. This is, and, and Israel is our, is our friend. We help our friends. And it's, it's not just being Jewish. It's about being an American and helping our friends. And this is a good, just, noble cause. And I, I'm glad that I was picked to go, and I'm, I'm um, glad to be a part of it. I mean, I'd rather be at home sitting on my back porch, sipping a bourbon and smoking a cigar and watching the Colts, but this is what uh, I have to do as an American. Are you afraid? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm afraid. Um, but it, it, I was afraid during COVID. I was afraid when my kid had cancer. I'm not that afraid. I'm not as afraid as, as those times. Yeah. Um, oh. So. I'll be, I just, you know, but maybe, maybe God will give me a break and uh, after, after this and uh, he'll let me do something uh, m more peaceful. Oh, you think about it, you're so close to, I would guess, retirement. I was reading some of what yeah. your boys have said about you. You are their hero. You're actually a hero to many people here in Indianapolis that have known you for years. Um, I consider you a good friend of mine. You are a, an incredible human. Um, what is it too, though, that says at, at this point, this is something that you know that your skills can help and that you are willing to put yourself, you're gonna be at the border here of Lebanon, I believe. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I've, I told another friend this yesterday. We've got tons of people in this community that put themselves at risk every day. Our police, our firefighters, we, you know, our military. Um, I, I feel comfortable. Um, I'm older, my kids are grown. Um, I don't wanna die, <laughs> but, um, and I'm gonna do the best I can to run to get out of the way from, mm. from anything like that. I'm not, I'm not gonna put myself out to be a hero. I just wanna go take care of people. You know, I think the environment's relatively safe where I'll be. It's a bunkered hospital. It's a, a, a major trauma center in the north. It, it services most of that, the north region, which is in, within rocket range of Hezbollah rockets. And I, they sent me an entire primer on what to do in case rocket fire comes in. So, you know, I, nev I never had to do that to take a job at Carmel or Fishers or anything. So, um, yeah, I'm nervous, yeah. okay? But I'm, I'm determined and um, I'm in a good place. I'll do okay. You are amazing. And your wife, I know. Uh, God bless her, man. Oh my gosh. She is a hero in this yeah. as well. Yeah, she is the hero in this family. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and you're, thank you. You're and amazing. you know what, though? Also, thank you to my partners at St. Vincent's who have stepped up to cover all my shifts. And I'll tell you, the minute I told people that I was leaving, Jonathan Sachs, one of our trauma surgeons, reached out and said, yeah. I'll go. And one of our orthopedic mm -hmm. surgeons, Dr. Schwartz, said he would go too to help. Uh, Dr. Perfetta, thank you. <laughs> Again, we'll be checking in, I hope, while you're gone. Um, Fox59.com if you'd like more information on all of our coverage.